So I think we all know the meta Warzone loadout is the RPK and Fennec. Those are the two behemoths within Warzone. And most likely these two weapons will receive some form of a nerf when it comes to Season 2. But if you nerf a weapon in Warzone, don't you kind of have to nerf them in multiplayer as well? Which then I have to ask the question myself, do Warzone loadouts work out well in multiplayer? Well, let's find out. So I put together a Warzone loadout. Here's my loadout right here for my RPK. As you can tell, it's all basically what you would expect for an RPK. Here's the Fennec loadout. Again, pretty much standard with all other Fennec loadouts in Warzone. But for the rest of the loadout, I put stims because, well, everyone has self-revive in the game, which is kind of crazy. You have Thermites just because, well, that's the most popular one you pick up. Now for the perks, I'm going here with Overkill so I can have both the weapons. Scavenger so I can have the ammo to use it. Fast Hands just so I can reload faster because it is going to be a faster paced game with multiplayer. And Survivor because, well, Everyone has self-revive in Warzone 2. And for the field upgrade, I'm using the inflatable decoy because, well, for the lols. So let's find out if Warzone loadouts work well within multiplayer, and if you nerf a weapon in Warzone, it's gonna affect the multiplayer experience. So is it gonna be worth changing these weapons for just the Warzone side of things where they might not work super well in multiplayer? Let's test it out. And you know I had to rock my Seattle Surge skin because, you know, gotta rep the home team. Now the main thing with the RPK, why it's so good in Warzone is because like over range, it has so little recall. I mean, like, look at this. I'm shooting beams across the map, like no problem. That's what makes this weapon so good. And the reason the Fennec is so good was one, they have the extra mobility and just the time to kill with this weapon is so incredibly fast. So basically when we swap in between the Fennec for close range, like I am right here, and then swap it over to the RPK for long range. Look at that. Oh! Woo! All I saw was the top of his head and the Fennec just absolutely slayed this dude, man. The long range action right here. Oh my god, there's multiple people looking at me. Deployable cover, go! Deploy it! They actually shot at it! <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just shot it because it's something to shoot rather than actually something they were afraid of. Look at that. Oh, no recoil. There's none. I barely moved my mouse at all. There we go. Look at that nice, quick type to kill with this Fennec, man. It's nasty. All right, all right, okay, UAV, let's go. Oh, I forgot to mention my uh, my kill streak package right here, which basically I'm using like the the Warzone loadout, if you will, with a UAV because the UAV is probably the most powerful kill streak within Warzone. I've got the care package because you know, I'm calling your loadouts, and I have the. Double kill right here, but that's the precision airstrike because, well, you get those all the time. They're the most exciting streak out there. Hey, we actually got a kill with that precision strike. Let's go, my dude. And find a sneaker spot to actually be able to call in this uh, air package because this map is kind of heck crazy. I'm going to be kind of quiet here. I'm not going to try to cause any, any ruckus here. I want this care package to come in and give me something good here. Pick up kill streak. Oh, God, they're coming in. Oh, my God, I got a juggernaut. Oh, my God, no way. Oh my god, this is insane, dude. I've never had a Juggernaut before, ever, in Call of Duty, so this is uh, a unique experience here. Okay, this might not be exactly Warzone, but oh my god, this is worth. I love the death metal that's playing in the background. I just wish it was louder, man. I see that laser sight. I'm coming for you, dude. Surprise, bitch! I can get you. <laughs> I feel like I'm the bringer of death right here. Oh shoot, this guy's coming at me! There we go. <laughs> This is absolutely nutty, and I love it. Get him, too. Oh, there he is right there. No, oh, don't kill me. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. No, you're not. You're not jump shotting anything, buddy, with, that, with this juggernaut suit. I'm not quite sure if I run out of ammo, or do you just die with it eventually or something? Oh, my God. <laughs> just slaying these guys. No, I'm cracked. No, he's punching me! No! <laughs> That's the saddest way to go by just getting punched in the back repeatedly. So <laughs> we got their juggernaut through this game. <laughs> All right, dude, sure. There you go, see the RPK. We've got the recoilless machine here. It's, it's brutal. Dude, this uh, RPK is so easy, man. Oh my god. Like, I even, even at the first shot I'm in, this Lefennec, man, just shreds at close range. Like, that guy. Oh my god. I was even hurt. Oh, it's gonna hit me. Oh wait, I get self-res. That's right, I have self-revive because it's the Warzone loadout, baby. <laughs> Bring it back in the game. And I got the kill from it. And I got the kid to strike and then we got the UAV because of it. Let's go, dude. 
I mean, we're gonna lose though, sadly. Yeah, we just lost the game, but that was a heck of a round. Okay, so that first game might not be fully indicative of how this loadout actually plays, but having a Juggernaut is pretty freaking sweet. So my score might have been a little inflated from that game, but we'll see how well it plays out this time around. I don't think I'll get a Juggernaut this time around, but I will get an instant double kill because, my god, this thing freaking beams. The only problem with this RPK loadout though is that you move so slow, but god, it's so good over range. I mean, like, look at that, man. I'm... I don't have to do recoil management with this gun. Mm, I would have to kind of lean to say like, yeah, maybe a, a nerf to the RPK would be something that I think is needed. But the big question then is, well, how do you nerf it? Obviously, I think you need to increase that recoil in some capacity, but do you nerf like the recoil itself on the weapon or do you nerf like some of the attachments you can put onto or the combos of attachments you can have for it? Actually, there's a support helo coming in here. Can I actually take it out with an RPK? That would be kind of nutty. No, you're not. I'm capturing this A flag, dude. There's nothing you can much you can do about it. The Fennec is just too good. Now the 45 Ram might be a little overkill when it comes to needing it for multiplayer. You probably would continue for something a little faster. I'm the only person with kills on my team. Everyone's either leaving or they're just terrible. Oh my god. Oh, we took it out though. That's some teamwork there, buddy. His enemy team keeps throwing UAVs on me. I wish I kind of had Bird's Eye, which Bird's Eye is like hella broken right now in Warzone. If you guys don't know, like right now in Warzone, if you have a if they have a UAV up, you can have the enemy team's UAV. It's it's like that. Like you can just have a, a free UAV, which UAV being the most important kill streak, honestly, in Warzone. But I could see it well being something that people are going to be utilizing quite often until that patch most likely will get patched with season two. So clearly teammates are more important than loadouts because that last game we got absolutely stomped. So the RPK and the Fennec, do they need to get nerfed which would also affect Warzone and multiplayer? Yes, absolutely. But how would you nerf these weapons? Because with the gunsmith, you have so many different different types of attachments and the tuning stuff you can put behind it. You can make this RPK an absolute lazy room because like the base level RPK, not that great, honestly. There's a good amount of recall and good amount of kick toe, but with all these different attachments you could put onto it, it really makes it a heavy hitter with this complete laser beam. The, so I would just find some way to put some recoil on it. Is all you really need to do. Now the Fennec here on that hand, I find gonna be a bit more of a problem when it comes to nerfing the weapon because it already has a good amount of recoil on it. It's designed for close range with that high fire rate, but the time to kill is so fast on it. If you're accurate enough at close range, you can really slap with this weapon. So possibly some more recoil would be great for this weapon, but I really think what you'd need to do is actually lower the damage of it to make that TTK more viable against these other subs because those other subs in this game, they actually are also very usable as well. Like the mini Bach I've used plenty of times. It's a great weapon. The Veznev 9K. Now this one I think is probably would be the second in line, the heir to the throne when it comes to subs, meta when it comes to Warzone and also in multiplayer. The Lockman sub though, don't sleep on it. It's quite good. But my fear, if you nerf this Fennec, the problem that's going to come with it is that it's going to be useless. Ultimately, we just have to wait and see what happens with season two. And if anything changes, I'll let you guys know here on the channel.